Hello, this is Nolan Cat here, and welcome back to Stormworks. So, in this video, I have this boat, as you can see here. Now, this boat here is a custom boat that I built. So, it's a very intriguing boat. And uh, I'm going to be explaining some of the stuff about it and also how it works. So, uh, let's go and let's hop on to my boat. So, it's a pretty small boat. However, it works. Now, first, the first thing that you're going to notice is that there are a lot of lights in this boat. Which is for a good reason. These are all things that you're going to want to have, such as system power, which are all these powers. These are supposed to indicate what's active. Currently, nothing's going to work. If we turn on the boost, nothing's going to happen. If we turn on the engine, these are going to open, but the engines aren't going to come on. None of that stuff's going to happen. If we flip the lights, nothing happens. It doesn't tell us any of the lights. We activate the lockdown, nothing opens. We activate the fluid system. This is going to activate, but that's not going to activate. If we activate the anchor system, none of this stuff actually works. Um, that is that stuff we've also. We have a cabin right over here, which this is just a pretty normal cabin. In here we have a closet, which has a bunch of equipment. And then we leave the cabin there's these stairs which these stairs lead up to here where up here we have this little area which this little area is for launching water and stuff but we have to activate all the stuff currently it's not going to activate that's not going to happen it's not going to be able to move at all and that's because you can see the water cannon's not ready even if we turn on both of these nothing activates none of it does anything so and then finally what we have is we have over here we have a video center so this is a bunch of videos but as you can see activating these doesn't do anything so we haven't activated any systems now back here we have the engine room if we hop down into the engine room we have some engines and that's what we have now we can prep the rudder this is one of the steps. Now, if we go up there and we prime the rudder in the in the wheelhouse, we can turn the rudder. We prep the engine. Now, if we go prime the engine over there, it will move. So let's go show that this should work. We also we get out of there's a handle just in case you need it, but you can get out of there just by jumping. But now, if we go here. We flip this thing open. First of all, there are these two lights because it's showing that the engine's prepped and the rudder's prepped, which that reminds me, the boiler's not active, so what we should have is if we look in the back, the rudder should be moving, which it is. But the engine, well, no, it's not, actually. The rudder is now moving. So what we also we have is we have the prime engine, which still does nothing because the boiler is not active. So let us activate the boiler. So let's head back down to the engine room, which this is this room is done. So now we have to move into the boiler room. If we fill this boiler and start the boiler, you can do it in any order, it will activate the boilers. Then if we head back up and out of this boat, then we can hop over to the front and then in here now, if we prime our engine, it activates the engines. Now let's turn this thing, and now let's, we can move this bad boy out to sea. Oh boy. So now, see, that all works, but still none of this stuff, the fluid system prime engineering doesn't work, so let's go activate some more systems. Let's head back down into this. So now let's press some more buttons down here. We have the boot up the video system. That is going to, of course, boot the video system. Then if we give the light systems, and we get light system power, and we prep the anchor. So now, if we go back up here, now if we go back up into our deck, 
we can come over here into here and we can go to the light system and flip it around and it says activate light system that pulls out which this activates all of these now we can add lights everywhere we can leave those ones off for now but yeah we'll show it at night in just a second now as you can see so that now the next thing is if we activate the anchor system you can hear it moving up and down and we we go down we can and we press this we can wait for it and it should if everything works properly it will hit the bottom of course we don't want to anchor so I'm going to move that back up but yes anchor system is working now we have all those they're all active they're all working so let's go activate some more things now also remember we activated the video system but as if we go into here none of these lights are active and we just don't necessarily know if we go here and we flip some of these lights no displays turn on no monitors no screens it's because we need to come down to here in the engine room again and we need to go to the power room you can see the anchor is messing around with stuff but if we come down to here then we have the power room so if we give the lockdown system power now the lockdown system is active get the fluid system power now that's ready no, the fluid system has power, it's not ready actually. Forget the video system power, now the video system is ready. So if we head back up here, now we should have the lockdown system and the video system both working at nice speeds. So if we head back up to here, if we activate the lockdown system, it can activate. If you don't know what, what these do, now, if we come down into our deck, as you can see, this is the boiler room. It is all closed up. They're all locked up. This is the engine room. It's locked up. For here, we have the power room. It's locked up. That's because the the lockdown systems uh, lock these doors so that we can't get to them. So now, if we undo the lockdown, which I'm just going to unlock down the engine room just to show you. Now, when we open up this, we still can't get in because the engine room is locked down. And nobody's allowed into it. Let's, uh, but if we unlock that down, it's open again. So if we hop down here and we come through here, into here, then we can enter the next room. This is the fluid room. We've got fluid pumps. We have got all of this stuff here. Well, let's prep the water cannon swivel and pitch. And let's give the water cannon power. Let's get the fluid system prepped. So now that we've prepped the fluid system and we've also got the water cannon system working, if we, then if we come up here, oh boy. Okay, so there's flashing. And that's for a very good reason because water just got into the boiler room and the engine room. So in this scenario, we have to lock it down. Thankfully, we just activated the power, the fluid system, so now we can open this up, prime the drains, and activate the drain pumps. As you can see, it's it already unflooded the boiler room, and now it's just unflooding the engine room. That should be that was an inconvenience, but now they're back active. So that's how the fluid system works, as shown there. That was a complete accident. Sometimes when you're leaving the engine room, you just have a huge amount of power in Stormworks for some reason, and you're able to push small boats just around for some reason. But that was that. Now, the other thing we did was up here and see if we, this light says the water can's right. So if we prime the swivel and prime the pitch, then we can move these things around. Then if we activate it, it launches water. Perfect. Let's we can actually we can keep the swivel and the pitch primed. So now that we've done that, another thing I forgot to show is number one, I won't actually keep this thing active just for no reason. But another thing that was done that I we haven't shown is the video center. Now we have all these things and when we press them, it works. So there we have the fluid room and the boost systems room. 
you can see those, we haven't gone to the booth systems room. Then there's the wheelhouse, you can see all our buttons that are open. We've got the front, which is these two, we can see that there's a wheelhouse there and that's what the front of the ship looks like. We have the closet, as you can see that's the closet. We have the cabin down here, you can see the cabin. We have the sides, which that shows these, it shows us both sides of the boat. We've got the back, this shows us this back and that back. Video center shows us this. Wait, no, that's not the video. This shows the video center, as you can see. We're right here. There's our head right there, and there are these monitors. Then we've got the water cannon area, so we can see. As you can see, the water is moving out. We've got the gimbal camera here. We can control it over here. We can turn to infrared. We can move it around a bunch. Then, uh, we've also got here, we've got the engine room which that is right here so we can see the engine room then we get the boiler room which lets us see here's the boiler here's multiple rooms some of it looks like it's underwater it's not underwater it's just a glitch with the system it just thinks that it's under the water but it's not and then we've got finally the power room and that as you can see is the power room it's actually empty and we also can do that because we're not hearing any beeps because there's no water there so now let's head back down to the final room so we've activated the fluid system, active all that. Which next thing we need to do is prep the boost systems. Now the boost systems have power, meaning that we can power up the boost systems. So if we hop back up here, looks like our water cannon is now moving around, and now our rooms are flooding for some reason. Which, I don't know how, for some reason, it's really finicky, this real area here. Just in case it was the water system, which it's not, I'm going to do that. Turn that thing off. But now we have that all fixed, and we prepped the, that system. So, uh, let's undo all this stuff. Now, if we turn on the boost systems, and we activate the boost, and we... Give the boo- oh frick, that's the wrong way. I always forget with this thing. But now as you can see, we're moving at really high speeds and the anchor is just flopping around behind us. So, there you can see, we're moving and the boost is being real powerful here. And we're boosting ourselves around. Let's, for one, let's to, uh, let's deactivate the boosts. Let's deactivate those boosts. Just because I don't want to have to be moving around all over the place. So let us ex show an example of how things would go. So let's say it's night and we're moving quite fast. Well, what we would do is, and let's, we're going to launch ourselves into there, obviously. So what we're going to do, first of all, let's show an example of how powerful the lockdown system is. So. If we go ahead and we start activating the scuttle, the scuttle key 1, which as you can see the scuttle is not active yet because scuttle key 2 and 3 aren't active. So let us come to the video system, the security room. Let's scuttle key 2 is active now, which the light indicates that. Then if we head down to the boiler room, scuttle key 3 is active. So now if we move back up and out once you get back onto the surface we can move back up here and now also as you can see all three skills are active and this is active i recommend keeping this button closed most of the time unless you're scuttling but let's just show how it happens so if we activate that suddenly these rooms are all flooding so we'd lock down the entire ship and then what we do is it's flooding so what we do is we'd quickly go to the fluid system and we'd prime the drains and we'd activate those. Then we'd run over into here and we'd look at the rooms. So we'd find the power room, which it look as if this is the power room here. But this room is full of water now. And so a lot of these other rooms are also full of water. So this boat is really good at keeping itself above water. So if we unscuttle this thing... Soon, 
relatively soon, this thing will be out of the water. So as you can see here, here's the water. And the drains are now draining that room. So that is the first example of what to do in that situation. Which, that's a pretty good thing that you can actually, one, that one interesting fact about this that I'll probably put in part two is that we can sink this entire ship and then we can deactivate the scuttle, we can lock down all the systems. And then we can activate the drains and it will unflood the entire ship. It's a very intriguing thing, but this boat can unflood itself real easily. So, as you can see, this stuff is all just unflooding now, and it's a very intriguing thing that's happening. We're going to just wait. Uh, I'll see you guys once this thing is finished unflooding itself. So as you can see, currently it's still flooding, but as if we check the power room thing, it still is the wave, so it's very inaccurate, but whenever that happens, I kind of just go here and go into photo mode, and I come down into here, as you can see, it's unflooding itself pretty darn quickly, and you can see as it actually starts to unflood itself. So yeah, next time I visit you guys, it'll be completely unflooded. Okay guys, as you can see, and here, the BP has stopped. If you look at there, you guys can see power room flooding has turned off, because it's not flooding anymore. We can deactivate all the lockdown systems, and yeah. So now, let us go at full speeds, and let us show, let's say that it's night, which first of all, let's actually show you what it looks like at night. Turn on our nav lights and our exterior lights, go to photo mode. We change the time of the day to off. As you can see, this is what the boat looks like at night. It's pretty bright. It's pretty nice. So that's what it looks like at night. And now, this let's say that you're just driving along and it's night, and then suddenly, ah boy, that wasn't enough speed. So let's go ahead and let's uh. Let's activate those boosts. And let's move at high speeds and you're just driving along the right and then Oh frick. That's bad. And then so you go ahead, you deactivate your boost. And then you suddenly see, uh oh, the boost systems room is flooding. So then you lock down all the rooms and your pumps, you activate them. Now your pumps are activated and your boost system room is flooding. Then the next thing that you do after you activate your pumps, you go to your video center and check your rooms. Looks as if our boost system rooms, as you can see, our front has been completely destroyed. The front cameras are gone. They don't work anymore. So you activate them and the cameras, because the cameras are both broken. And it looks like our, this time our boost system room are fine this time. And as you can see, they're doing... They have some fake waves, but we can't currently see them, but it feels, but it, we're going to. So, if we hop into photo mode here, and, so if we check out what's going on inside of this room, we can see that it's actually doing pretty fine, but as you can see, it's most likely right now it is draining, and there is small bits of water actually inside of this thing. It's just we can't tell that they're there because it's draining really quite fast. So that's that. But thankfully, as you can see, our boat is doing fine. This is, as you can see, these are the two cameras. They're both destroyed, the cameras. But this, but thanks to the lockdown systems and the drain systems, your boat is definitely going to be able to make it. Probably not with three compartments, but two compartments in the front. It's definitely going to be sunk in a lot, but you can most likely, on using skills and knowledge, most likely be able to make it back to this location. So if we come back into our dock here, that's what this boat is. So hope you guys enjoyed this boat that I made. If this boat this video does pretty well I might put this boat 
in the description of part two or part three, if there is a part three. And uh, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was Nolan Cat. Bye.